guys welcome thank you very much for joining me in this video we have a request from a subscriber to the channel a long time subscriber to the channel an amazing person good friend uh, and it is about is it's about a Japanese stock it's about a Japanese company that's trading on Robinhood it is on Robinhood and it is on Momo also it's not available on Weibo right but it is available on Momo app uh, and uh, also on Robinhood. Now speaking of it being available on Mumu, Mumu is a proud sponsor of this video. I'm very happy that I have this company as a, as a sponsor of my video. It's a great trading app. By the way, if you use my Mumu link, which will be in the comment section below, click on it, sign up to start trading on Mumu and deposit any amount you want. There's no specific amount. Just deposit whatever you want. You'll get six free stocks using my link basically you made money you made money easily i mean it's really easy uh six free stocks and you deposit whatever you want you get six free stocks worth up to two thousand dollars i think that's an amazing deal now the company we're going to talk about is nidec yes and this is one of the most interesting companies one of the biggest companies in the world it's a very big global company powerful company but you know it's uh it is japanese which is not a bad thing actually Japanese or companies have you know Japan at one point was considered to be the country that its market and uh, its stock market its if financial system would overtake the United States until it crashed back in the 1980s until today Japan has never recovered from that crash so yeah the stock market never recovered yet unbelievable so, so many decades it has never recovered yet so that's why I say it is a Japanese stock. Even though it's a great company, a lot of Japanese stocks, they're amazing companies, Mitsubishi, uh, who else? Well, Sony's doing well. Uh, but you know, in general, China, Japanese stocks tend to move at a slow pace. That's actually a good thing for us. That means we're getting a, an amazing company that's undervalued. And they're, you know, we tend to lose, we actually tend to gain more than lose. Uh, so NIDA Corporation is the company we're going to talk about. Together with its subsidiaries, it develops, manufactures, and sells motors, right? So it sells motors, electronics, and optical components, uh, also other related products in Japan that are used for vehicles, let's say. Electric vehicles is what they're really getting into. And, and many more than that. Uh, hard, their motors are used in PCs hard drives for everything for basically all the motors that you can think of that go into cars in the future i highly doubt there's going to be an electric vehicle made in japan that won't be using nida products the company offers medium and large size motors small size and precision motors uh, motor related products units and modules automotive components mechanical equipment inspection measuring equipment electronic devices sensors and a ton of other things here you can see they also have products that are used for applications in robotics and we'll see news about that in later in the video iot products automotive components home appliances logistics agriculture information technology and a ton of other things they do have a dividend also a 13 cents annual dividend that's awesome and the stock is at 16 dollars 44 cents as i'm doing the video that's cheap right 16.44 not bad at all but you know, it was 30 and over. It was actually about 30, 35 bucks uh, earlier. And, and even in the beginning of the year, it was at 30 bucks. So that's a big, big fall, right? From 30 to 16. If we omit that 2022 year, and we uh, basically, let's say we were to erase it from the chart that we're looking at now, you would have been more amazed by the chart, right? The stock would have been just up all the way. Uh, and you would have been like, wow, this is stunning. Well, in 2022, we had a massive, massive tech sell-off. We had chip shortage problems, vehicle companies not producing as many vehicles anymore, kind of shutting down plants and all that. Semiconductor shortage, because this company is also into semiconductors. Um, so all of that stuff had the big negative on the NIDA Corporation, and it went from 35 to $16.44. What does this mean if the company is good it means if the company is good which i believe it is that it will easily go from 16 to 30 from 16 all the way up to 30 or 35 bucks when things are um when the markets um, um get better let's say all right uh, when they start to heal let's say 
it won't take long for that. Now, Nidec is a world leader in brushless DC motors, which are more efficient, use less electricity, and can be found in a variety of products. The company also manufactures motors for electric vehicles, an activity scheduled to ramp up in the next five years. Yes, the company has announced that within the next five years, they're going to significantly ramp up their production in components for electric vehicles. Nidec is a world leader in brushless DC motors. Like we said, there are using various applications from appliances to automotive to robotic uses. One of its main uses is for hard disk motors, right? For the hard disk, uh, which are being replaced with solid state memory and uh, present a headwind for the company. Fortunately, there are new uses for its motors in growing applications, including robotics and electric vehicles. They have set up a vision of 2025. They call it the Vision 2025. Nidec has a sales target of 4 trillion yen. By 2025, the comp the compar for comparisons, its current market cap is at 7.4 trillion. It is therefore currently trading at price to sales ratio of about four times current sales and two times 2025 expected sales. Now to get to that target, their vision 2025, it's going to take a lot of significant growth. And we'll see later on in this video, news that are proving that they're already setting themselves up for that significant growth. Vision 2025, further innovative changes. And you can pause the video if you, and you know look at this in uh, in um, in uh, at your own pace. There's also here Vision 2025 framework for new mid for new goals. Obviously, you can see they have a lot of goals for EV platforms, right? For traction motor systems for vehicles, electric oil pump modules, EPS power packs, and much more. If we look at the revenues, the total revenues from 2018 to 2022 have been pretty much steady their gross profit steady it's a very steady company it's really you know it's really a good 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 solid company innovation for everyone united products spinning and moving in our daily lives there's a ton of you know for the hard drives product all the hard disks and uh, drive motors and new PCs and so on use Nidic products 28% are use Nidic products um, automotive products in the engines and so on from Nidic appliance commercial and industrial products they're used now on april 21 2022 nidic had its uh, latest quarterly earnings report their revenue grew by 18.5 percent year over year which is very positive they also announced the status of their own share repurchase program which was on june 1 2022 here we can see some other news on reuters which was two days ago on june 7 and it says electric motor maker Nidec on Tuesday said it would combine group semiconductor purchases into a single procurement unit to strengthen ties with chip makers and ensure it could source key components amid continued uncertainty over supplies. That's a positive, uh, another positive for this stock. Nidec develops AC servo motor equipped with Zingnier, the location detection technology that accommodates 17 bit resolution for the industrial robot market. This was on June 9, 2022. Then we have from Nikkei Asia uh, website, Nidec targets 2023 start for flagship EV motor plant in China. So next year, Japan's Nidec plans expansion of its facility uh, in Japan. Look at this old robotic automations that they got in that facility. Yeah, this is a short video, but basically overall, my opinion is that this seems like a company you know, I'm going back to like what Warren Buffett used to say, it doesn't take a lot of IQ. You don't need really to do a lot of fundamental technical analysis. Uh, what you really need to look more into is, what is this company? What does it produce? What does it offer? Do you think that this is valuable? Would you like to be the owner of this company if you had the opportunity? Would you like to hand this company over to your kids if you had the opportunity? If yes, and if you are, and you would actually be willing if you were told you'll have to hold this stock minimum uh, 10 years, would you actually look forward to holding this 10 years? And I would, yes, in all of those, I'd say yes. So in my opinion, this is a buy, it's personally, I mean, sometimes it's really as simple as that. Um, I think Nida Corporation is a powerful company with a bright future ahead of it. It's trading right now massively undervalued at $16.44 is i think is a great opportunity for what it is um let me know in the comment section below what you think thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to hit the like button and i wish you all the best take care